shit. me look like a total bitch at least i got to win a fight <laughs> all right well that's good <laughs> yeah, nice all right well, welcome to no shit mma uh, i'm your host jonathan baldock with my esteemed co-host robin black who happens to be a uh, professional mma fighter as well as a uh, Z list rock star congratulations Robin. yeah yeah thanks a lot kind of a professional fighter i actually just want to fight so that's something but uh how come i have to be the co-host and you're the host well, no, it's just because of the way we talk. But, oh. uh, yeah, no, actually, uh, your last fight you won, uh, it was actually covered on uh, the MMA show on uh, The Score. So, technically, you're a real professional fighter. Cause that's, that's what they're telling it, me. It was but news, yeah. If you went to uh, any of the message boards in the uh, MMA community, they would probably tell you that I'm not. But, uh, yeah, no, I was real proud of it. It was real cool. That's cool. And, and you won in... Um, under three minutes, right? Yeah, submission triangle of the night. Choke? Yeah, triangle him unconscious. It was cool. Yeah. It's a lot better than getting punched in the face many times. <laughs> yeah, there's no marks whatsoever. Yeah, no, I was pretty as the day I was born, which is really not all that pretty. But, right. you know, what can you do? Well, all right. So uh, on today's show, let me just uh, give you guys an idea of what's going on. Uh, we've got two guests. We have uh, Joe Dirksen, El Durte. El Durte. Yeah, yeah, so he's up first. We're going to call him on our, on our first break. And then we have uh, Mark andre Drolette. And uh, he's the matchmaker for CFC. Yep, uh, CFC Canadian Fighting Championship, and he's a manager and uh, just sort of involved in the, the fight game in Canada in a lot of ways. Does some web stuff, and he's just one of these players in Canadian MMA. That's cool. And I had a brief conversation with him yesterday, and he seemed to know his shit. So yeah, hopefully yeah, that works out. Yeah, he seems to know what he's doing. Yeah. yeah. Um, do we really know what we're doing on this show? Like, are we... No, we have no fucking yeah, idea. Not at all. I... Yeah, which is good. Yeah. I mean, that means uh, people can tell us what to do. That could be a good thing, yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I personally, like, I just showed up here and thought, you know, apparently you'll know what's going on. <laughs> you know? so. Yeah, I just totally misrepresented yeah. what, what we were doing. Well, you know, we can wing it. I mean, really, mixed martial arts is the greatest sport in the world, and it, it'll be an amazing thing to be able to sit here once a week and just shoot the shit about MMA. But, uh, you know, how seriously can we really take it? It's, it's a sport, you know? Let's have fun with it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, so here, here's a, a whole bunch of subjects that we're hoping to get to tonight, but, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll probably only hit three of them. Yeah, I mean... Because we're going to talk too much. Yeah, that. And when we talk to Dirksen, like, that guy has ridiculous stories. All he basically does in between, he fights like three times a year, and the rest of the time he gets <laughs> drunk and picks up chicks in bars and stuff. He can tell us all about it. Okay, well, that's awesome, and yeah. I can't wait to hear some of those. <laughs> So uh, other than the uh, Joe picking up chicks in bars and getting drunk stories, which that's going to be top of mind for sure for me, um, <laughs> subjects for today uh, we might get to. Uh, top 10 pound for pound. Uh, we also might talk about the, uh, the new Vaseline rule for the UFC because of the GSP pen fight. So you're not allowed to masturbate in the UFC anymore? Right. Yeah, you're not allowed to do it in the ring. You're allowed to do it just before. It, that seems reasonable to me. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you don't want to see guys pulling on that stuff right there in the ring. In front of all this, what, there's like 13,000 people there? I mean, that just seems disrespectful to yeah, me. Yeah, exactly. At least to the people that are right by the ring. Right. Uh, and then uh, we'll talk about the, uh, the fight cards for MFC 20, which is this Friday, and then the UFC 95 Saturday, and also M1 Global Challenge for anyone on the planet that knows that that's happening. That's uh, happening? 
Yeah, yeah. There's M1 Global Challenge. It's it's on. Uh, it's sponsored and helped uh, to be put on by uh, Affliction, and it's uh, going to be aired on HDNet. Yeah, are you uh, sure this is actually taking place? Yeah, that's what they say. Yeah. It's, it's what's online. So yeah, I'm just, I, I noticed there's also that. a UFC uh, on free on Spike TV at the exact same time. So, you know, good luck for both the people that watch it and bet on it. You know, have fun with that. <laughs> exactly. Uh, we might get to uh, fighter salaries. Uh, then we'll talk a little bit about uh, maybe Strike Force picking up Elite XC uh, assets and uh, what that means for the, uh, for the actual ex-MMA7 in Montreal. Right. Because Cyborg and uh, and Phil Baroni were supposed to fight, and that may not happen. And then we're also uh, maybe talk about uh, Montreal proposed rule changes. We probably won't get to any of this, though. No, no, no. Really. Let's just talk about uh, El Durte picking up chicks <laughs> yeah, and bars. Yeah, and really. I mean, uh, I, I know Joe pretty well, and Joe Dirksen is a class act and also a filthy act, you know, really. So um, and he cornered me in Winnipeg, which was pretty exciting. Um, he's a gruesome human being, but he has 50 fights, so you've got to treat him with some respect, you know? Yeah. Now, yeah. the vast majority of his wins were by submission, right? Yeah. Well, Joe's a Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt. Right. I think when he fought um, Paulo Filo in the WEC, yeah. Paulo Filo was like, yeah, so he is like what, the Canadian jiu-jitsu black belt? I'm a Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt. It's like, uh, yeah, no, I don't think that's the deal. Joe, uh, Joe submits people. He likes to hurt people, and, but he's a lover. Of, of women. beer and and beer chicks and chicks right which is a good thing <laughs> yeah absolutely um, it'll be interesting really at, when we get to know talk to Joe as well as you know if hey if there's a second week you know if we get to do this again or, <laughs> or maybe for a couple of weeks get a couple of fighters on I'm I think people are interested to see what these guys do in between fighting and I don't just mean when you look on TV and you see their training schedules and you see their diet and stuff, it's like, how do these guys actually live? Not the bullshit, not the stuff they say for the cameras, but you know, how, you know, how do your favorite professional fighters live the rest of their, the time? And, right. and uh, you know, Joe's a good start with that. Yeah. I think that's something we can do here at our little TV show or interweb or whatever the hell we're on can I, that can most just, people can. Can I just quickly ask you, you were just kind of suggesting that we might not be here next week, so like we could actually get kicked off the internet? I think we could get kicked <laughs> off the internet I, in about I, 10 minutes. I, I swear to God, I hope so. If that could happen, that'd be like, <laughs> that'd, be that'd cool. actually be newsworthy. Ed. Yeah, that'd I mean, be across really my cool. fingers, we get kicked off the internet. Well, I mean, what would you have to do to get kicked off the internet? I don't know. You tell me, we'll just do it. Let's think of like a list of shit that we could possibly do and, yeah. and then jam it all into one episode. Which will probably have to be next week because we didn't right. prepare for that kind of stuff. Yeah, but I mean, we didn't really prepare for anything. Good point. Really, good point. So. Good point. So. All right. So uh, maybe we should talk a bit about our sponsors. So uh, first okay. of all, we're uh, we're live on that channel dot com. Yeah, yeah, that channel dot com. Uh, I guess that's a sponsor or right. network well, or something. Well, yeah, exactly. And they're kind enough to air our show, which is uh, a, yeah, a, already something. like we convinced them to to air the show, which uh, is already well, a plus. I mean, in MMA, sponsors are important, right? Like right. you see fighters, they got. Their shorts on, they got you know stuff all over it, like you know condom companies and whatever. So who are our sponsors? Right. Well, you're wearing a shirt, so why don't you uh, why don't you talk about oh, Extreme yes. Couture Toronto? Yeah, they're they're a sponsor. Um, yeah. So I mean, we're getting money from them? Well, not so much money, really. Like they just kind of donated me. You know, I'm. You work there. Yeah, I work there. Yeah, that's so, awesome. So that's something. That's good. But what about the other sponsors that you were gonna get? Dude, you were in charge of getting the sponsors. See, this is what, you know what? You just don't communicate. You know, you show up like 20 minutes before we're on air and you're like, dude, what are we covering? And I'm like, I did all this research on the, I didn't really, but I kind of did some research on the internet, which is not bad. And then you just show up and you're like, what, what's going on? Well, Why don't you give me a list of people that were supposed to be sponsors and then I'll, I'll call them and see what's up. First of all, you're just lucky to have me. Okay. Right. I've, yeah. I'm totally feeling that <laughs> yeah. way right now. Okay. Well, because you're such a huge star. Tap out gave me this hat. Right. <laughs> you know? All right that's awesome. Yeah. So. How does that help our show? It keeps my head warm. Okay. You know? So basically, we're gonna get kicked off the internet because we have no money. 